So now on to my third attempt. So by, by breaking the uh, projection cameras off the motion path of the actual shot camera and putting them a little bit higher and more steeply angled at this, uh, at this scene, I was definitely able to achieve a better shift of resolution and more importantly resolve this issue of the texture smearing and achieve this, this pretty good projection. Uh, across the 200 frames of that camera movement there with just six projection cameras. So I'm quite liking, I'm quite liking this. I don't think it's going to resolve all of the problems. Um, for example, there'll be some doubling from this curb onto that street as we go, as we get sort of close to it, we should see a little bit of doubling there. We may well see some little, little bits of sort of smearing of the, of the textures along the curbs, which may need to be patched, but I think that that will resolve a lot of the issues. However, the main issue with this is the termination points of the masks. If I just come out of the, of the shot camera view, we can see where the, where the various, uh, layers of this projection cross over each other and terminate with each other. Um, we can see, for example, the first one that goes over this first intersection. This, these, these road intersections are great termination points because you can draw your mask along the edge of the curb and cut it off at that point and create a really nice seamless transition. Obviously, there's issues in the, in the, in, in the, in the little crossroads across the street here, but that's a relatively minor operation. It can be done just with a little bit of alpha blending of the two masks, just the two adjacent masks, just to sort of blend those two in. Okay. But terminating along there. So along that line, we have a reason the, the, the second projection is okay where it isn't okay is at the far end because it just terminates in this weird place uh, it would be much better if it extended beyond into that place so that that so that it could be terminated there so how do we do that well we would do that by uh, adjusting the uh, the focal length of the shot camera effectively over scanning so by reducing the focal length you can see how I open that up and I can actually take that out there beyond that particular intersection point. Now, obviously, if I just set that to 40, for example, you can see that that gives me that coverage. It means that I can, I can terminate there and I can terminate there and potentially terminate there on good intersection points between, uh, based on, based on the, the sort of the geometry, um, with an overscan of 40. Okay. As opposed to the, uh, the native overscan of 50. So what that would mean is that I could overcome that problem. What I would need to do, of course, is I would need to address the fact that I've overscanned the image by, by making sure that I create this particular section of the map painting at higher resolution than this one, because that's uh, created at, um, at 40. So 50 divided by 40, um, that gives me this 1.25. If I now multiply that by my standard resolution of 4000, you can see that that means that that particular section of the map painting in Photoshop is going to be need to need to be created at a width of 500 and whatever the, the commensurate height is to that to maintain the 16.9 aspect ratio. Okay. So that's going to be, uh, that, that's going to need to be an issue all the way along. Okay. If I, if I come to my third projection again we can see this third projection terminates in this weird place that's not a great place it would be much more sensible for it to terminate uh, higher up uh, so again what I can do with that is I can extend the focal length and take it up beyond that beyond that area and obviously that's that's going way up but you can see that at that point there it's going over that line so you can see how I can I can extend that again I've made a I've made quite a, a big change to the focal length here, that would need, again, a, a commensurate uh, adjustment to the, uh, to, to the uh, resolution of the image that I'd be creating to be projected from that particular camera. But by doing that, effectively, it means that I can terminate my cameras. If I just turn this one uh, off and come to the uh, where I ended up with at the end of this sort of exp experiment, Uh, this is where I ended up with, uh, with my various projection cameras all terminating at good places in relation to, uh, for terminating, uh, uh, terminating the, the map painting sections off with, ver ver with various masking areas. Okay. So that's the, um, that's what I, that's what I ended up with in terms of the, going back to the shot camera, 
a cursory check through to make sure that we don't get any radical changes in resolution, we don't get any sort of overstretching of the, of the resolution, uh, that we don't get any weird areas. We know that that's breaking off in a weird area, but we know that I can go back, I can terminate at that point uh, where, where, the, uh, where the curves are. So this is where I ended up with this, and I think that that is going to resolve the majority of the issues. I already mentioned at the beginning that there are a couple of issues to do with the curbs and to do with slight doubling onto the streets, uh, where we where we kind of go through it through an area like that, for example, there where we go on. There's a potential that we could have a little bit of uh, doubling from this texture onto that street there, and the same on this side. So we'll just have to see that, but we can't really tell that until we get into the uh, it, we, until we start to work with the actual textures. Okay, so that is my projection strategy. That's the one that I'm going to go with uh, and, and move on into the uh, into the first pass with the actual map painting texture.